good morning, good morning. Um, I asked all the kids, I said, how do you feel this morning? And they all said, my body hurts. I'm like, yeah, my body hurts. Like I've been riding on a machine <laughs> shaped similar to a bike but with a bigger motor and it's just like jarring for three days. That's what I feel like. Well, this morning all of them were showing me their cuts and bruises and bumps. And, and wounds. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, but it's not bad. They're not bad. I wanted to show the hats Jill's taking out. Jill's heading out to the property. Um, they're framing currently. I cannot wait to show you that vlog when it's done, you know, in <laughs> four weeks. <laughs> and Joel is taking all the guys a today's task hat. You guys can actually purchase these if you want to. I'll put um, the instructions on how to buy those if you want them. You can't buy Lincoln's inhaler though. That's not for sale. <laughs> I'll sell you an old one. <laughs> Okay, have fun. I'll probably come out and see you today. Yeah, that sounds great. And Joel's going to take his computer so he can edit in between answering questions. And you've got an hour and 18 minutes It'll to fit fun. down into, uh, I'd say 20. I mean, make it a good one. Make it a big one. Let's move the trailer out there so I can just put the AC on, put my feet up. Pretend you're in Swing Arm City. Here, I'll carry it out. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, pretty brisk this morning, I'll tell you that. My job today is to clean the RV. Or to, you know, take it's a like look. Or? <laughs> or to take a nap. Yeah, you can do that. <laughs> I can. And maybe, hey, maybe tonight when you get home, you could help me clean the RV. <laughs> tonight when I get home. I can't I'm just teasing. It's all done loading. No, it's still processing so I thought I'd just leave it open yeah so that when you get there it can be done remember when I was just teasing and I was like uh -huh, I'm not gonna do anything until the kids get home well kids are home and I, I just got dressed <laughs> oops so I was looking through my um, closet and I was like I just want like a loose t-shirt and in my mind I was like I just need to go to Joel's closet and put on like one of his big shirts except for the fact that Joel's like big loose t-shirts are tight on me <laughs> so this is the biggest t-shirt I own SOS I need a giant oversized t-shirt one that doesn't say wife mom boss in this like cursive with hearts I don't recall purchasing this shirt. I don't recall why I would ever want a shirt like this. I actually hate it and I'm embarrassed to be wearing it. But now that we got that out of the way, let's go out and clean the RV, okay? Lincoln, you wanna come with me? Help me out a little. I took the whole morning to just sit around. I answered all of my emails and that was a feat. And so that's done. Now, Lincoln, let's make sure everything is unloaded from the RV first thing. I know we got the pantry done. This is the only thing that really needs to go in. That's like paper products. We're kind of, um, I want to winterize. Oh, this is my most important kitchen item. This is the potato masher that my mommy gave me when I went to college and it's my favorite thing I've ever owned and I'm actually commissioning oh here's where the cups are I'm commissioning an artist to make me some art for my new kitchen and I think I'm going to have her include this little ditty somehow yeah we gotta take the garbage out you can't leave a dirty garbage if you saw my phone, you would see that it has no charge to it. <laughs> if you saw the blinking battery on my camera right now. <laughs> okay, it's so dangerous. Ooh, that is dusty. Top layer. Okay. Oh, that's glass. Okay. I'm scratching glass. That's not good. Oof. 
cheese. Lincoln just assured me that all the brown stuff that I'm cleaning off the toilet isn't poo, it's just dirt because there was a lot of dirt where we went and that's what I'm cleaning up is the dirt. Is that okay? Well, it's basically mm -hmm. mud. Basically mud. Well, it is mud. It Because when is we mud. went to a certain like river, there was lots of mud and we jumped in it and I put my whole body except for my head on there. Because it was super deep. Mm -hmm. So then when I hit the bottom, my head, you cannot see any of my body. It was just my head. And mm -hmm. I was like, no. So much sand everywhere. Okay. The shower is now cleaned. And yes, I'm going to leave this on the ground instead of putting it back up here because it always falls when we travel. And so I'm just gonna leave it on the ground so it doesn't break or break something when it falls when we travel. So for now, <laughs> that's the solution. And that, my friends, is a clean bathroom. I did the bathroom first because I dreaded it the most. I only have to do the floors. I'm gonna do all the floors together. I looked out the window to see where Lady was and oh, you know, just sunbathing. Just bathing in front of the house. <laughs> I'm checking the drawers just to make sure everything is out of them. And I'm sorry, but this is the cutest thing in the world. These are all of Joel's t-shirts that are like ones that we've gotten at like state parks or other RV parks. And I just think that is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life because he intends for these to stay in here. Normally I would wash the sheets and then bring them back in. However, this is the last trip of the season. I think we're going to winterize the RV. So I'm going to wash these and then just leave them in the house. I will, however, um, if this smelled like campfire, I would take the mattress protector off. It doesn't smell like campfire, it smells fine. So I'm going to leave it on the mattress and I'll just leave the bedroom like this so that next time when we um, go on an RV trip, I just need to put fresh sheets on. Call me crazy, but I am so excited to clean the RV. The kitchen, the kitchen. This is what I'm excited for. Don't ask me. It's because there's an island. I don't care if this island is like smaller than my dining room table. It's an island. And I just, you know, I'm enjoying cleaning it. That's all that I have to say. Thank you, Boston. Mm -hmm. I needed the rubbing alcohol to get some sticky stuff off. Um, now, it occurred to me, like, if I was watching a YouTube video of someone cleaning, and the only thing they were cleaning with was a glass cleaner, <laughs> the way I am, I would probably write them off. However, people, I'm not an expert at cleaning, I mean, I kind of am, but, like, I, maybe I could use something other than my glass cleaner, in fact. I'll tell you one thing, this RV may not be disinfected, but I don't think it really needs to be disinfected. None of us are sick. I mean, that, I mean, and that's beside the point. I, there's going to be no dust. There's going to be no marks. There's going to be no dust. That's my point. Don't turn that on, sweetie. Um, and <laughs> that's my only goal here. So if you would like to clean your things with something different, which I usually clean with other things as well. I just, it was a judgment call and I didn't want to go grab anything else, okay? So, that's, that's what we've got going on here. I'm aware. I'm aware of this shortcoming. <laughs> and I don't care. I just experimented with something. I used my vacuum mop to vacuum up all the dust on the floor, wondering if it was strong enough to get like loads of dirt because even when I swept there was just I mean sweeping just pushes the dust everywhere through the place and when I tell you that it did a good job I'm not lying my favorite part was going underneath in here because the light shone and I knew exactly when it was clean because it took a few passes the cleaner liquid goes in here. I ran out of the first, the, like the bottle that came with it. So there's a spray button right here. I refilled it with vinegar and water. You guys, I am actually in love, okay? It just is my favorite cleaning tool I've ever 
used coming from a non-professional cleaner, okay? <laughs> all right, well, I'm in love. Bed is pulled in, all the blinds are closed, she is vacuumed, she is dusted, she is mopped, and that's a wrap on the bedroom. Same with the bathroom. The bunk room is cleaned, vacuumed, dusted, mopped. She is ready to come in, and I hate that I kinda can't like watch at the same time, but I can hear it and I made sure everything was clear. So she's coming in, and voila, she's in. She's put away. This is the compartment that just like pops on and off. All the dust and stuff gets gathered in this little compartment. Pretty dirty. <laughs> so I just vacuumed in here, and I think I'm just going to get a fresh one. They last forever, but I'm gonna get a fresh one to vacuum a second time and mop in here with a fresh one, and then I think I'm done. I am gonna go through with a washcloth and just wipe down the couches and like the front of this thing. You can see there's like a little dust on there. But then I'm done. Yeah, pretty dirty. I'm gonna go get a fresh one. Here comes the third slide. You can hardly tell it's moving, but the fridge and the oven and the pantry are going to come right up close to the sink and get tucked away because that area is all done. It's a tight fit, but there you have it. That one's all in. This by far was the dirtiest part of the entire RV. This wall just got done dusting it. I'm going to bring in the last slide and then we'll turn all the lights off. Guys, we did it. We cleaned the whole RV. That's it. She's in. Here we go. I'm just going to turn all of the lights off. I am just going to close the screen door though until Joel gets home. That way the vinegar and glass cleaner smell can kind of air out. And yes, the RV is clean, but I just feel like everything I cleaned is now sitting in a giant pile right here, which is fine. Laundry will go fast, I hope. Like my boss? <laughs> Do you like my shirt? Yeah. Nope. I know. Olivia came home. That was the first thing she asked me. She's like, where did you get that shirt? I'm not wearing Is it because you want to borrow it? Well, you're wearing my shirt right now. Yeah, but this one's cute. Um, folks, honey, please don't do that. Folks, that is a Walmart special. It's like $17 or $24. Oh, what? You're not a fan of his dance moves, no, Olivia? I really don't like his dance moves. And this? Oh. It's yeah. called the sick cat, Olivia. Lincoln, you're moving it back. <laughs> your butt. Yeah, the sick cat, you move your back. No, yes, you do. That was your butt. You're supposed to move your butt. Well, no, it is your back because when cats get sick, they arch and like do that with your tummy. Hey, so Lady does that. <laughs> yeah. So Lincoln, I believe, is right. <laughs> I always thought that was me, me twerking. Knee twerking. Well, we're gonna call it the sick cat and we'll say you're moving your tummy. All right, I'll link that in the description along with my vacuum. <laughs> and sorry, everyone, I will not be linking the hideous mom boss shirt. Oh, that's so embarrassing. I wore it because I just had nothing else to wear and I didn't want a tighter shirt or a crop shirt or like all the kids have their job. Do. Oh, do you know what is bizarre? Okay. The thing that just came across the screen is this little itsy bitsy, it's smaller than a fruit fly. When it, you can see it right there at the top of the screen. When it came across the screen, that sucker was in focus. I thought it was like a beetle or something. That was horrifying. What I was saying is everyone has their job. Cody is mowing the lawn for Joel, which you guys, for Joel to pass down the job, you know he's busy. <laughs> He was supposed to edit while he was on the job site today. Well, apparently there was a whole bunch of issues and he, at one o'clock, he said he hadn't even opened his computer yet. So I'm a little scared <laughs> for his evening, the way it's gonna look. He texted Cody and was like, please mow the lawn. So, Cody's doing the lawn. Olivia is working on the dishes. Thank you very yeah, much. Don't look at this side of the sink. No, nope, I didn't. Gross things. <laughs> I was showing them the clean side. So Olivia's working on the kitchen. Boston is working 
on his piano practicing and we'll rotate. I just started a load of laundry. Lady is as lazy as ever and that's fine because she's staying out of the way. And Lincoln actually has a very, very difficult job. Huh, it's really hard, but he is shoving the sleeping bag in the sleeping bag cover and he already has one accomplished. Yep, so you keep working super, super hard. He's like, Mom, that's too hard of a job. I can't do it. I'm like, you know what? I know you can. You can. You've already done one. Check it out. He did one. I may have helped with the very ending of it, but he still did it. Something I didn't show on camera is that those sleeping bags were put on the stairs, which is like, you know, um, a tripping hazard, and I slipped on them carrying a huge load of laundry. <laughs> He's comforting me by like tapping on my leg. Because <laughs> he did not enjoy, nor did I enjoy when I fell down the stairs all over those sleeves. Yeah, he's like, nope, that wasn't pleasant. It wasn't pleasant for anyone. My back hurts, my tailbone hurts, my head hurts, and my throat hurts from screaming. <laughs> Dad sent us on an errand and he said, get the five gallon one and that you would know what he wants on it. So Cody, this is a five gallon one, but it does not have the thing on it that he wants, right? Yeah. Okay. And he said it's only at Cal Ranch. Let's see, where's the other five gallon? Oops, sorry. Mm, is this the same thing? Uh, do you not see? Is this one, Cody? Yeah, five gallons. And what does he, what specifically does he like? He likes this thing. Because you don't spill it. Okay, well, I'll send him a picture and we'll see if that works. Fine, I just. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This gas station is so finicky. Well, I don't know if this is wrong to fill it up like this, but I couldn't twist the thing off. Can you see where it's filling up? Nope. Great. We're just gonna do the best we can. I'm sure Joel is gonna be like, no, Bonnie, that is not how you do it. I'm I can't sure see there's it a more all. simple way. <laughs> Should I turn it off, Mom? Should I turn it off? <laughs> you haul a trailer once for your husband, and all of a sudden he thinks you're this capable woman and makes you start doing more things. Jeez, is that real heavy? Yeah. Five gallons. Oh. Okay, take my purse inside. what I'm making dad do this I can't do this okay okay I'm gonna send dad out um just because I want to make sure that it's on the uppity up you know what I'm saying Ugh. for um you know what uh nerves sake I think I'm gonna close the vlog guys <laughs> I need to go in and make dinner and I just feel like if I can clear the vlog off my mental checklist Maybe I can keep my composure for the evening because I just feel like tension is building. You know what I'm saying? Can't really hold the camera. I feel like I have gas on my hands. I know I need to make dinner and I'm hoping that my guacamole doesn't taste like gasoline even after I wash my hands and ankle. And I have to do avocado for dinner because I don't want it to go bad. And I was supposed to take it on the RV trip with me, but didn't. Um, can you come here for a sec, please? The gas can is dripping. Where are you? Did you come in? Yeah. The gas can is dripping. I splattered gas all over me. You alright? Yeah, I'm trying to. Really yeah, I'm trying. Ooh. Yeah. So will you go in the backyard? It's in the backyard. And just make sure that that's good and help Cody get that thing full. Oh, you're not really doing that on my lawn. Well, that's why I called you because I was like, I know I'm not doing it right. All right, guys. <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Good night, everybody. Well, prepare for your guacamole to taste like. Oh, I suppose a gas in here. Yeah, it's me.